Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And before I start this video about Robert Ritter von Greim, I'd just like to take a minute and thank all of you for the nice and constructive comments you left under my last video where I introduced myself. Thank you. Robert Greim was born June 22nd, the year 1892 in Bayreuth, as son of a Bavarian officer. In July 1911, Robert Greim joined the Bavarian army. After he attended the war school in Munich, Greim served in the 8th Field Artillery Regiment, ranked as a Leutnant, or a second lieutenant. During the First World War, Robert Greim completed a training as an artillery observer in the Feldfliegerabteilung 3B, uh, 3B before the German air service was called Luftstreitkräfte, they were called Feldflieger. In 1916, he started pilot's training and in January 1917, Greim was promoted to the rank of Oberleutnant, equivalent to first lieutenant. And once Greim finished his training, he was transferred back to his Feldflieger unit. As of April 1917, Robert Greim served in the Fighter Wing 34, or in German Jagdstaffel 34, and became squadron leader in the same year, 1917. On a mission he had flown on March 11th in the year 1918, Greim, using his board machine guns, destroyed a British tank, probably as first German pilot in the war ever. During the German Spring Offensive in the year 1918, Robert Greim already commanded several squadrons. And on October 23rd the same year, Greim was awarded the Bavarian Military Max Joseph Order. This award brought a Greim nobility as well as the title of Knight, or Ritter in German. From this point on, his name was Robert Ritter von Greim, or Robert Knight of Greim. By the end of the war, Ritter von Greim had achieved 20 air, air victories and was also awarded both classes of the Iron Cross, the House Order of Hohenzollern, as well as the Pour le Merit. After the war had ended, Robert Ritter von Greim, together with Ernst Udet, who was the most successful fighter pilot on the German side who survived the war, organized um, air shows to support returning prisoners of war. During the Cup Putsch in the year 1920, von Greim flew airlifts between Munich and Berlin. In the same year, he left the military to attend the university in Munich to study law. He was one of the participants of the Hitler Putsch that took place three years later, on November 9th, 1923, in Munich, and was a convinced and loyal Nazi ever since. But the following year, 1924, Robert Ritter von Greim moved to China to aid the build of a national Chinese air force. Three years later, Robert Ritter von Greim returned to Germany, leading a civilian pilot school and joined the NSDAP, the National Socialist German Workers' Party. He returned to the Reichswehr in the year 1934, ranked as a major or major officially serving in the artillery regiment number no. 7. Only a short time later, he transferred into the Reichsluftfahrtsministerium, Reichs Aviation Ministry. In August 1935, von Greim became the inspector of fighter pilots and was promoted to the rank of Oberstleutnant, equivalent to lieutenant colonel, only a month later. On Adolf Hitler's birthday, April 20th, 1936, Robert Ritter von Greim was promoted to the rank of Oberst, equivalent to Colonel. In 1938, he became the leader of the Reich's Ministry of Aviation and was promoted again to the rank of Generalmajor, which is equivalent to the rank of Brigadier General. In March 1939, von Greim took over command of the 5th Flieger Division. 
when the Second World War started, von Grimm participated in the Poland campaign com as commanding general of the 5th Flying Corps. And after the West campaign was completed successfully, von Grimm was promoted to the rank of General der Flieger or General of Aviation on July 19, 1940. Afterwards, his corps participated in the Battle of Britain, and in the winter time of 1941, Ritter von Greim was leading the Sonderstab Krim, like Crimea, in the southern part of the Soviet Union. On April 1, 1942, Greim's corps replaced the 8th Flying Corps, and Greim assumed the Luftwaffenkommando Ost, or Air Force Command East in English. That happened in the area of Smolensk. Promoted to the rank of Generaloberst or Colonel General in February 1943, von Greim commanded the Luftflotte 6 or Air, Air Fleet 6, which was formed out of his former command but was still supporting Army Group Center. When Hermann Göring, who was the supreme commander of the Luftwaffe and the German Air Force, was dismissed from his position on April 23, 1945. Three days later, von Greim was flown into the encircled city of Berlin and was wounded during the descent. He was flown, by the way, by Hanna Reich, who was a record-breaking German glider pilot. In Berlin, von Greim was named Göring's successor and was promoted to the rank of Generalfeldmarschall or field marshal in English. Although he wished to stay with Adolf Hitler in Berlin, von Greim followed the orders of the dictator to leave the city and to aid Karl Dönitz. In May of 1945, Robert Ritter von Greim surrendered to American troops in Kitzbühel. It is said that he surrendered with the words, I am the commander of the Luftwaffe, Air Force, but I don't have an Air Force. Due to his injury, he was sent to a military hospital in Salzburg. It was in that military hospital where he heard that he was to be extradited to the Soviet Union. To avoid Soviet captivity, Robert Ritter von Greim committed suicide on May 24, 1945, at the age of 52.